bed bugs, and how not to live with them. Bed bugs. Everybody hates them and everybody wants them dead. What makes them so hard to deal with? Well, for starters, they're pretty small, about a quarter of an inch long and as thin as a credit card when they're full grown. Add that to the fact that they can go several months without feeding and you get a critter that is one of the world's best hitchhikers. Here they are hiding in the screw head of a piece of luggage. Life cycle of the bed bug. Bed bugs have a seven stage life cycle. It starts with the egg, which is about one millimeter long and sticky. When it hatches into a first stage nymph, about one and a half millimeters long, then it will need a blood meal to molt into the second stage nymph, about two millimeters long, which needs a blood meal to molt into the third stage nymph, about two and a half millimeters long, which needs a blood meal to molt into the fourth stage nymph, about three millimeters long, which needs a blood meal to molt into the fifth stage nymph, about four and a half millimeters long, which needs a blood meal to molt into an adult male or female, about six millimeters or one quarter of an inch long. Adults make repeated blood meals over several weeks. Adult females can lay 600 to 1200 eggs until she dies, which can be six to 12 months. How do we tell if we have bed bugs? Rusty or reddish stains on bed sheets or mattresses, dark spots about the size of a number two pencil lead, eggs which might look like lint and eggshells which are tiny and pale, yellow skins of nymphs shed as they grow larger, a sweet musty odor, and of course live bed bugs which look a little bit like apple seeds. Where do bed bugs hide? Well, since they are very small, bed bugs can hide in a lot of places. If they're hiding near the bed, they could be in the piping, seams, holes in the box springs, cracks in the bed frame and headboard. If there's a heavy infestation, they could be in the seams of chairs and couches, folds of curtains, under loose wallpaper, wall hangings, drapes and hardware, wall receptacles, appliances, and oh yes, even the head of a screw. If a crack can hold a credit card, it could be hiding a bed bug. How do we get bed bugs? Bed bug infestations usually occur around or near the areas where people sleep. These areas include apartments, shelters, rooming houses, hotels, cruise ships, buses, trains, and dorm rooms. They hide during the day in places such as the seams of mattresses, box springs, bed frames, headboards, dresser tables, inside cracks or crevices, behind wallpaper, or any other clutter or objects around the bed. Bed bugs have been known to travel over 100 feet in a night, but they tend to live within eight feet of where people sleep. Here are a few things you can do to prevent an infestation. One, check secondhand furniture, beds and couches for any signs of bed bug infestation before bringing them home. Two, reduce clutter in your home to reduce hiding places for bed bugs. Three, vacuum frequently to remove any successful hitchhikers. Four, be careful when using shared laundry facilities. Transport items to be washed in plastic bags and if you have an active infestation, Use a new bag for the journey home. Remove from the dryer directly into the bag and fold it home. A dryer on high heat for 30 minutes can kill bed bugs. How can you safely treat bed bugs? Due to our loathing of bed bugs, many people look for a quick fix to control them. Some of these control methods are not only illegal, but also can be dangerous and ineffective. If you're not careful, the misuse of pesticides or other control methods could be worse than the bed bugs. Here are some things that people frequently do that are illegal. One, they use diatomaceous earth that is not a registered pesticide product. This type of diatomaceous earth may harm you when you breathe it in. Two, 
They use rubbing alcohol that is not a registered pesticide product. This compound vaporizes quickly, is flammable, and has caused numerous house fires when used to control bed bugs. Three, they use carbon dioxide, propane, helium, or other unregistered gases to fumigate bed bugs, and this can lead to dangerous low oxygen or cause explosions. Four, they use pesticides labeled for outdoor use only. Five, applying pesticides, including mosquito repellents, to their body. The EPA has not registered any pesticides or repellents for use on human skin against bed bugs, and you could end up poisoning yourself. Six, by applying pesticides to a bed, furniture, or clothing. If these surfaces are not on the label, you could accidentally poison yourself or your family. Seven, using too much or applying more often than the label allows. Some pesticides take time to work or your bed bugs may just be resistant to that type of pesticide. Eight, use too many fiber products at once, which could lead to a fire or explosion. Nine, use pest strips in a manner not on the label. There have been incidents where people were overexposed and became ill. 10. Buy pesticides from street vendors, flea markets, or other unreliable sources. You never know what you're buying, whether it will work, or if it's safe to use. Some things that people do that are legal, but not necessarily safe. 1. Spraying over and over whenever you see a bug. This type of application may not actually violate the label, but it is unlikely to eliminate the infestation and could cause the bugs to become resistant to the pesticide so it will no longer work. Two, do-it-yourself heating treatments such as space heaters and fireplaces. These have been known to burn down homes. Three, do-it-yourself freezing treatments such as freezers, fire extinguishers, or opening the home to cold air. These methods may not get cold enough to kill bed bugs. Four, hiring an applicator who does not follow IPM practices. They may charge less, but are far less likely to achieve success. Five, Hiring an applicator that does not provide a follow-up inspection and repeat treatments if needed. So, where should we start and how long will it take to get rid of bed bugs? First, there is no quick fix for eradication. Getting rid of bed bugs takes time and patience. There are both chemical and non-chemical approaches available and using a combination of them is often referred to as Integrated Pest Management or IPM. Yet even the best pest control company will have a very difficult time getting rid of them unless you do your part. Here are some tips that will help you and your pest management company get rid of bed bugs quicker. One. Don't move any of your belongings to another home during or before the treatment unless you are certain they are not infested. You might be spreading bed bugs to another home or your car or workplace in a backpack or box and then reinfest your home after it's been treated. Move as few items as possible and have them checked for bed bugs or heat treat them before removing them. Two, wash all sheets, blankets, pillowcases and other bedding in hot water, place them in a dryer set on the high setting that won't damage the items, and dry them for at least 30 minutes before placing them in plastic trash bags you can seal. Keep them separate from other items that could be infected. Three, wash all clothing in hot water and then dry on the high setting allowed for the clothing. Clothing that can't be laundered and dried, including coats and jackets, can be dry cleaned or need to be inspected carefully. Do not place clothing in infested rooms and areas until treatment has been completed and the bed bugs have been eliminated. Four, place curtains, pillows, towels, stuffed animals, etc. in the dryer. 
Set the dryer on the high setting that won't damage the items for at least 30 minutes. Double bag these items immediately after drying. Five, carefully inspect all items that cannot be washed. Books, electronics, picture frames, plastic toys, etc. If insecticides are going to be used, place children's toys into plastic bags or storage bins, only if they're bed bug free. If heat is used, the pest control company may want these items left in place so that they are exposed to the heat treatment. Six, store cleaned and dried items in plastic bags until your home has been treated and the bed bugs eliminated. Seven, Vacuum and wash all floors. To prevent bed bugs from escaping, be sure to place the vacuum bag into a plastic bag before disposing of it. 8. Vacuum the mattress and box spring to remove live or dead bed bugs. Double bag and discard the vacuum bags in an outdoor trash can immediately to avoid reintroducing or spreading any bed bugs caught in the vacuum. If the mattress and box spring will be encased, be sure to use one that is bed bug proof. These encasements are thick enough so that bed bugs cannot bite through it and have tight zippers so that the bugs cannot wriggle through. Nine, a cluttered home is hard to inspect and more difficult to treat because bed bugs can find lots of hiding places. Throw away unneeded items. Pick up and double bag all loose items in bedrooms, in the bottom of any closet, and any other rooms that will be treated. Make sure these items are treated or inspected before returning these items to make sure you're not also returning bed bugs to the treated rooms. Provide access to walls, closets, and areas around furniture to allow for a thorough inspection and treatment. Remember, IPM Integrated pest management is the most proven method for removing bed bugs from your life. With everyone working together, the chances for a successful eradication of bed bugs are very good.